Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with selections for Saturday the 21st of January. But first, a quick recap. Well, what started out a very disappointing day could have actually turned into a very, very decent day. However, I thought actually very unlucky in the in the better Newcastle. Sorry, you'd have to bear with me. I've got a, my head is absolutely pounding. I've had a like problem with my sinuses all week and I I'm sat in a dark room doing a video. So you have to bear with me. But yesterday at Newcastle we had a forty to one that when I say came to win the race, yes it was closing, but it only lost that by a neck. If that had a won would have been very nice. It then went on to Heretic, which it actually won at nine to one in the end, so that we could have we, we could have, and I say could have, had a very nice bet heading on, but a forty to one winner, a nine to one winner going on to Oriental Lily. Well, I'm not kidding. I made a video last night saying the selection was going to be delayed. And but what a fantastic day! Um, end to the day with Oriental Lily just snatching four, and then I kept refreshing. I'm thinking, hold on a minute, the money's not gone in yet. I've only had eight pounds go back in from that bet. However, did that horse not come forth? I have not got a clue. That angle at Newcastle must be absolutely ridiculous because it was it was. It was closing. It actually seemed to go go by the horse that came forth in the end, and it looked to be well on top in fourth place, only to be given out as though it had got beaten by a nose. So that I think even with the all, all three horses in the in the tricks were in place would have made about sixty quid, I think. So that would have been really nice. But anyway, didn't happen. So in the end, I think. Depending if you took the prices or not, if you, if you took the prices, I think you might have lost about a pound on the day. If you didn't take the prices, well, in fact, I think it's swings and roundabouts. So I, I know we, the 40 to 1 have returned 25, so there's a good chance that you return pretty much the same no matter what. Anyway, enough waffling, right. Three bets on the horses today. Two Canadians that both include each way doubles and an each way accumulator and also an each way Trixie and an each way treble on three horses. So this is the first Canadian. So the first selection is Dance to Paris in the 11.55 at Lingfield paying four places instead of three. The second selection is Catch My Breath in the two minutes past one race at Lingfield paying four places instead of three. The third selection is the other side in the 125 at Southall paying four places instead of three. The fourth selection is Pistoletto in the 137 at Lingfield paying five places instead of three. And the final selection in that bet is Secret, Secret Strength in the two minutes in the 12 minutes past two race. At Lingfield, paying five places instead of three. So that's a 10 pence each way Canadian, 20 pence each way doubles, and a 40 pence each way accumulator. It comes to £10. Right, now we've got the Trixie. So I'm just going to scroll down a bit further. So it's a 50 pence each way Trixie and a 50 pence each way treble. All these selections are amounts of or yeah amounts of PJ McDonald. I think they've all got chances and it's a very good jockey. So basically glittering choice at five it's up to you whether you take the prices. I just happen to take the prices for this bet. <clears throat> glittering choice at five to one in the twelve fifty at Southall. Gorak at 15 to 2 in the 125 at Southall, paying 4 instead of 3. And finally, Princess Naomi at 7 to 1 in the 2 o'clock at Southall. Right, now on to the next Canadian. Right, here we go. So it's, <coughs> it's a 10 pence each way Canadian, 20 pence each way doubles, 40 pence each way accumulator. The first selection is the one I was cooing about last time it ran. It's Poet. 
Well, this horse ran at quarters and I really fancied it. And it came last and never looked like coming anything apart from last. Well, I'm sticking with it. So it's Poet in the five o'clock at Wolverhampton paying four places instead of three. Sky Blue Expert in the six o'clock at Wolverhampton paying four instead of three. Stargic in the 6.30 at Wolverhampton paying four instead of three. That's currently 6.6 six to 1. If you want to take the price, it doesn't really go what? It can go much bigger, 100s or 150s, but I can't see there being 151 chat in, in this kind of race. So it's currently 6.6 six to 1. You could take the price if you wanted to. I, I, I can't see it getting much bigger. The fourth selection is San Juan in the 7.30 at Wolverhampton, given a stinker by Billy Lochlean last time. I think it's got every chance under Clifford Lee. And finally, Ghostly, in the 8 o'clock, at Wolverhampton, paying four places instead of three. This horse was trained by Stella Barkley and ridden by Cam Hardy. They also team up with Stargig, so that could be very interesting. So those are the selections for the horses. Please bear with me for the football. I'm going to get me a Dan. I'm going in the bath. I'm going to have a good study on the football. And I will put the football bets in the comments and the description of this video this will be 10 o'clock so come back 10 o'clock nip to the description and the football bets will be in there so the very best of luck charlie winters over and out cheers mate